Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, some interesting news. Microsoft has confirmed that it will begin testing new changes for Windows 11 with insiders in the dev channel using a new series of builds in the 26,200 range, which could be the beginnings of version 25H2, which will be this year's annual feature update, which normally rolls out around about September, October, um, in the latter half of the year, with Microsoft saying, and I'm quoting, starting today, which was yesterday on the 24th of March, the Dev Channel is jumping ahead to receive 26,200 series builds. They mentioned that these 26,200 series builds are based on Windows 11 version 24H2 and will contain many of the same features and improvements as the 26,120 series builds that will continue to be released in the beta channel over time. And Microsoft says it will be making behind the scenes platform changes in these builds. Now, they don't tell us what behind the scenes. They don't give us any information there. In true Microsoft fashion, very vague and very secretive. But over time, they'll be making behind the scenes platform changes in these builds. So that's officially from Microsoft. Now, it is important to note that Microsoft hasn't mentioned anything or officially confirmed Windows 11 25H2. But um, I personally do think that we will be getting a 25H2 later this year. I think it um, goes without saying. And I think that the, the closer we get to September, October, we will get an official announcement from Microsoft. Now, if you are asking the question, which I know some of you are, what about Windows 12? Will that be rolling out instead of 25H2? I have actually posted a whole video on that I think there will be no Windows 12 for now, but possibly in 2027. Go check the video out for more information. But I personally think it's very unlikely that we will be seeing a Windows 12 at the end of this year. Check the video out. And if and when Windows 11 25H2 is released later this year, it will be based on a new platform release codenamed Selenium. Because as you may well know, Microsoft always gives its different releases um, code names. And I think the reason why Microsoft will be sharing the same platform release across version 24H2 and 25H2 as they announced is because it's because it's easier to service both at the same time. And Microsoft has been quite keen to reduce its fragmentation between different Windows platform releases, as you may well know, because we have the upcoming end of support of Windows 10 later this year in October. And as mentioned, the expected release for Windows 11 25H2, if it does happen, will be later this year in September and or October, but obviously I'll keep you guys posted in regards to that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.